Would you like to see Mia Yim, a.k.a. Jade, back in Global Force Wrestling? This is BQ when I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. Oh, I tried so hard my whole life, and I haven't had a title in five years. Oh, my mama didn't love me. Ooh. I don't usually address my sound clips, but if you're not familiar with that one, that was uh, Eli Drake making fun of James Storm. It was uh, They were showing the video packages before uh, Storm and Lashley had their uh, unification title match. or Both titles were on the line, the King of the Mountain and the... Uh, world championship so if you guys didn't recognize it anyway moving right along discussion question time the may young classic recently wrapped up no i did not watch it i do plan on watching it though because I, I love women's wrestling and i want I, I do want to see it i heard i've heard good things and um when i get an opportunity someone hooked me up with a password thank you rusty and uh, i'm gonna sit down and watch it so there were some familiar faces in this tournament one of them being Mia Yim, a.k.a. Jade. Now, Jade does not do a whole lot of interviews, podcasts, whatever, whatever you want to say. She did say in one of the uh, lone interviews that she has done in the last couple of years that they did, uh, the company, you know, TNA at the time, did offer her a deal. And she has the contract. She just wasn't sure if, if or when she wanted to sign it. She made it pretty clear, and this is, I, I can really respect her for this. She made it very clear that she wanted to be in the Mae Young Classic. And, you know, her contract ran up around the time where the, the selection process was happening. And good for her. She was selected, you know, gets to be on that platform. And that's awesome. And uh, I, I would imagine, I've, uh, you know, I haven't seen it yet, like I said, but I, I've heard that she showed a lot more. Yeah, um, I don't know what the word is. She's just a lot more uh, just energetic, upbeat um, as, a, as a performer. And I think that uh, that atmosphere was probably much different than what she's used to wrestling in. And there was a lot of uh, hype behind that. So I, I would imagine she really took a lot from it. But uh, Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Radio. Are you calling me a liar? Yeah. Uh, released a list. And um, uh, someone said, had sent it to me. A list of the rumored signings from that tournament. And it's a whole whole group of, of people. Jade was not on the list. I didn't expect Jade to be on that on their radar as far as, as, far as a signing goes. Because from what I'm understanding, because I've seen all the uh, thumbnails on Twitter, is that the classic was, was um, like an invitational, so to speak, from different countries. And because at first when they had announced Marty Bell was doing it, that one kind of caught me off guard. I like Marty, but that, that just, for that tournament, kind of caught me off guard. And then I kind of realized, okay, well, they're doing, you know, almost like an Olympic format where this person's representing here, so this person's representing here. So correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going strictly off speculation from what I've seen. So correct me if I'm wrong if you've watched it. I know many of you have. And uh, I can see why, why Jade was a very natural fit. Plus, she's a great performer. Her boyfriend's still in the company, although we don't know what his status is. And uh, I could see a scenario where perhaps she would return. Or maybe she you know, is going to take this opportunity to get on the indies, stay on the indies, and, um, and roll with that. You never know. I think the knockouts division is really strong right now. The strongest it's been in a long time. And if she were to come back, I think she could find a, uh, a lot of success. And um, I think she could breathe some new life into it. Uh, yes, she was a, a performer previously, but I really think she most likely took a lot from this tournament. And I think everyone would like to see her back and would welcome her. Jade isn't necessarily one of my favorite knockouts, uh, but, but I do respect her a lot. And I met her, very nice. And um, I'd like to see her back. I really would. All I can, you know, as a, when she left the company, I don't think we really saw it coming. And she was always teasing the 450 splash. And I, you know, I was always saying, oh, well, she's obviously going to hit it on a pay-per-view on BFG or Slammiversary. And then all of a sudden we lose her and she's gone. So Jade is back to being a free agent. She did what she wanted to do. She competed in the tournament. I would imagine she had interest in going to NXT if the opportunity was available. Now that they have this rumored list of, you know, looks like 10 or 12 girls that they want to sign, maybe she says, okay, maybe there's not really room for me to go there. Maybe she comes back. 
So I, I want to know what you guys think if you want to see her back or if you have any, um, I would hope not, but I don't know if anyone has any ill will to her leaving. Now there's some people when they leave the company, I, I really never want to see their faces again. Um, but Jade is, Jade is different for me. I didn't unfollow her on Twitter or nothing crazy like that. Like I might've done with uh, Mike Bennett or something, but she, I just respected the fact that she made it very clear. I wanted to, I want to see if I can be selected in this tournament and if NXT is a possibility, I like to wrestle there. And you got to respect that, even if we don't like it. But I think there's a good chance we're going to see her back. And I've said this the entire time. I've said I don't believe they have interest in her. I'm not an expert in that department, obviously. But I just I just didn't see it. Call it a gut instinct. Could she come back to the company? She has a contract in hand. It's just a matter of what she wants to do. But I want to know what you want to see. Do you want to see Jade return and mix it in with these new knockouts? Or do you think, uh, we've got some good knockout talent right now. There's a few who can't even get TV time. Do we really want to introduce Jade back into this situation? So I want to know what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel. We're talking Global Force Wrestling each and every day. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Leave a comment. Can't wait to read them. Peace.